Today we see how much money I will lose opening five legendary collection twos. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and yes, we are opening five Legendary Collection 2s today. We did this with Legendary Collection Joey's World. Go check that video out. We tried to see how much we would lose and we did actually pretty well. We're gonna see how much we lose opening five of these instead. I think this will be a little bit more difficult. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two sealed promos. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know how much money do you think we'll lose or maybe will we make money? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's open the first one. After we open the first one, we're gonna crack open all the rest of them, you know, so you guys don't have to watch this same thing over and over but we will show what is inside these the first time and also speaking of giveaways i announced all the winners on the youtube community tab just a few days ago so if you guys missed it make sure you guys go check and see if you won and uh, a lot of you have already claimed them so go check them out i've given away a lot of sealed product this time so make sure you don't miss it all right inside we have our promo pack with like 15 cards in it it's a ton all the sacred beasts are in there which is pretty cool we get five packs so we're going to be opening a total of 25 packs today. These boxes are about $500 for the five of them, $100 each. So we are in a hole of 500 bucks right now. So every time we pull something, we're gonna have a counter. See it subtracting or adding back and trying to get back to zero and then go over zero and make some money. So let's see, keep an eye on that counter. Let's see if we can make some money. All right, let's get into this. Uh, we will be opening up a Soul of the Duelist booster box soon. First edition hobby box. So I think it might be this weekend. I'm not totally sure. So keep an eye out for that. Either Saturday or Sunday, I think. Maybe maybe not, but we'll see. I think it's supposed to be that if we can figure it out. We have a Crystal Beast Saturday. Fire Pegasus, very nice. And are there any nice commons in this set? Usually there's some nice commons in the Legendary Clit. The Legendary Collection GX. We have a Disc Commander. That's actually a pretty good card. A Cyber Valley. Okay, not bad. And a Crystal Abundance. I'm going to look and see if there's any commons. It looks like there's not anything crazy. Dasher used to be a crazy common, but of course it got a reprint. I saw uh, Dark Callings, like five bucks. That just got a reprint, so it's probably not great either. Let's see what else we can get. We've got Elements of Hero Neos. DD Survivor, pretty good card. Oh, I thought that was a super. Evil Hero Wild Cyclone. You don't see this guy very often. Wild Cyclone. He's Avian and Wild Heart. Pretty cool card, actually, that doesn't really come up very often. We got a Malicious Edge Secret Rare. That's beautiful. And then we have a Chaos Neos. There's one Ultra Rare in here that I did not realize was super expensive, and it's like $20. It's one of the best cards in here. And it's Neos Wiseman. I guess that had an original Secret Rare print, and then it might be the only other print of it. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. Uh, first, we have a Bubble Man. That's not bad. Neos Force. Pretty cool. Hero Ring, always a really cool looking one with the Flame Wingman on it. You love to see that one. And then a Burst in a Tricks. This has some value for sure because it's the alternate art. Really beautiful card. Secret Rare, you'd love to see that. And a Magical Mallet. That's a couple bucks, I think. And then Venom Swap and Infernal Gainer. Couple more packs in our first Legendary Collection. We have certainly not made 100 bucks back. I can say that so far. We're 60 because we've only opened up two so far. So we'll see if we can, we can get back the other ones. Dark City, Neos Forest, very cool. Neos Patient Dark Panther, this is very expensive and ultimate rare. Return of the Six Samurai. Elemental Hero Tempest, it's cool to see this in a super rare. That probably has a little bit of value just because it's cool. Fifth Hope, secret rare, beautiful artwork on this. Looks really, really good. That's a nice ultimate rare as well. And then Jane Lightsworn Paladin, very cool with the Elemental Hero Ocean. There was one of the rares that was pretty expensive. I can't, it was an Elemental Hero, I can't remember which one it was. Maybe we'll get it, I think it was like six bucks. We gotta come on, we got a Feather Wind. Destiny Hero Double Dude. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Destiny Hero Dogma, super rare, okay. Dimensional Fissure, secret rare. This is probably actually pretty valuable. That's probably not bad at all. Okay, Wolf Light Sworn Beast, solid as well. Glonios, I think this is it. I think this is a $6 rare. So that's a solid pull. Maybe one of the best out of that bag. And honestly, as good as we've gotten so far, probably. All right, now I'm gonna crack the other four open so we can get to the other 20 packs. All right, we have 20 more mega packs. I don't know where we're at right now, but I don't think we're even close to getting our money back. So we're gonna need to step it up here. We've got Return of the Six Samurai. We got Cyclone Blade. Evil Hero Wild Cyclone, very nice. Gladiator Beast Darius, another cool one. I don't think it's too valuable. And then an Electrum, okay, an Ultra Rare. Evil Hero Infernal Pro Prodigy, this is a solid card. Just got a reprint as well though, so it probably hurt the value, but definitely a good one still for Edison and stuff like that. By the way, if you guys have not checked out the Twitch stream, I've been streaming five days a week on weekdays, early morning, like 9 30 and then on thursdays we're doing soul lock soul link not soul lock soul link with disencoders at like 12 so you guys can go check that out if you want it's been a lot of fun uh we got a rare value very nice crystal beast those are coming out and super polymerization i believe the most expensive card in the set secret rare it's like over 20 dollars. very nice can we get the ultra rare as well the second most valuable the neos wiseman 
Oh, the White Knight Dragon. The dream pack would be Super Polymerization, then pull, of course, the Neos Wiseman, and then there's also a super rare Ubel. I think it's super rare. No, secret rare. Oh, that's secret rare. Never mind. That wouldn't work out then. Uh, White Knight Dragon and Destiny Mirage. Very cool. Mizuki Stratos. Here's like a three plus dollar common. Very nice. So there's a good common. That was a really good pack. We're definitely making a comeback after that pack. Like, if we keep pulling stuff like that, we're going to make our money back. Let's see if we can do it. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. I don't know. Some of this Crystal Beast may have gone up because of all the new Crystal Beast stuff. Aqua Neo Super Rare. Always looks really cool. And Spark Man Alternate Art. This is another nice one. Probably worth a few bucks at least. Miracle Fusion. Also another good Edison card. We are looking good. Proving Ground and the Six Samurai. Come on. Second game board's definitely a little better. We got a system down. D Counter. Clear Vice Dragon. Super Rare. Elemental Hero Shining Phoenix Enforcer also adds some value just because it's so awesome and, and uh, classic. But Namanaga, this probably isn't worth too much because now there's a collector rare of this card. And then uh, Poison Rose. Okay. We have a Fusion Recovery. O Oversoul. Six Samurai Uriza. Thunder Giant. Avian. We've got a Rampart Blaster Super Rare. Beautiful. And... Ubel Terror Incarnate. The regular Ubel is actually worth more than this, but still pretty solid. And then a Kid Guard. I don't even remember that card. And then a Neo Space. Okay, Neo Space, regular old rare. Thunder King Ryo. This is a solid card. I think that just got a reprint as well. It's probably hurt the value. Our Righteous Justice, Aqua Dolphin. DD Crow, a nice super rare. Always worth a little bit of money for DD Crows. Gladiator Beast Bestiari. Very nice secret rare. And Crystal Tree. Hey, see, this is one that may have gone up. I don't know if this card's any good or not. Probably not because it's so old, but it could be. We have Wild. Wild Wingman, the Grand Mole, of course. D Formation. We got the Capped Gold. We got the Rise of the Snake Deity. Evil Hero, Malicious Fiend. Gallus, the Star Beast. Okay, I don't think this one's great. And then Defensive Tactics. Where in the world is that epic Ultra Rare? Where are we getting the Neos Wiseman at? Come on. Bless us with that Ultra. That'd be huge. That'd be a great pull. Six Samurai Yaichi. Clay Charge. Clear Vice Dragon. Ooh, a Darken Dragon, another good Edison card, worth a few bucks, and then a Crystal Tree. Hopefully this is worth something, because that's the second one of those. I don't know if Common E-Emergency Call is still worth something. It might be. It could be. We'll see. Let's keep going. Let's pull something amazing. Give us the epic pack of the best Ultra and the best Secret in the same pack. We got a Clay Charge. Neo Spaceship Glow Moss. Come on. Destiny Hero Dogma. The Struggle. That's a super rare. Ooh, and a Power Bond. This one has value as well. Secret Rare Power Bond. I think it was over $10. Solid on that one. Kasha Ultra Rare. And then Overload Fusion is also a very cool card. With Crystal Beast. Topaz Tiger. Jesse Anderson. Crystal Beast. I haven't watched GX in a long time, so I need to get a refresher on that one. Clay Charge. We've got a Neo Spatian Glow Moss. The Six Samurai Zanji. Evil Hero Infernal Wing. Wait, Inferno Wing. Sorry. Another Spark Man. That's actually a good pull. And... Elemental Hero Electrum. Okay, another card that we have seen a few times. Terra Firma Gravity, interested in wings, with a Grand Mole at the end. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph, so go down below and click that subscribe button. Still about like 10 packs left. We've kind of flown through these. I mean, there's 25 total packs. We've already opened 15 of them. Let's see what we can end it with. We're doing pretty good so far, I'd say, but not fantastic. We're doing pretty good. Marine Neos, we got the Elemental Hero. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Classic old school Ruxin. And then Skyscraper 2 Hero City. I don't think that's very good. And then Instant Fusion. This is very good. A nice ultra rare printing of that. Crystal Promise and Hero Spirit. Okay, looking nice, looking fire. We have Destiny Hero Departed. Clock Tower Prison for that, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Dreadmaster. Very nice. Grinder Golem. Destiny Hero Dogma. Gallus the Star Beast. Again, come on, man. Armatile the Chaos Phantom. We don't really want to see you guys. Armatile is at least cool. I don't want to see that Rallus anymore. Watch him be like 10 bucks. I don't think he is. I don't think that card's very good. Okay, next pack. Card Trooper. Hero Blast. We have only seen one Stratos so far. Is Judgment Dragon worth anything as a common? I'm about to check. All right, I didn't see it. It still could be. I might have missed it, but Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Clear Vice Dragon. Very nice. Elemental Hero Dark Neo Seeker Rare and Hydra Get On. Okay, just an Ultra. Glow Neos, another $6 rare. That is looking good for our value there. Let's go. We got a Dasher. This used to be $15. Now it's like one, so it's worth something. I mean, it's not worth nothing, but it used to be 15 Ruby Carbuncle. We got the Hero Barrier. Lady Heat. Elemental Hero, Dark Gaia, the Duel Link Special, okay. And then a Gladiator Beast Bestiar. We have, like, all the Glad Beasts. And then Light and Dragon, okay. Cool card that I always think would be worth something, but it's not. It's uh, It just looks like it would be. Uh, six packs to go. There's one more Legendary Collection after this. This is the uh, last pack of the fourth Legendary Collection. What shall we pull? What's our counter looking like? I'm really interested to see when it's been edited. We got the Plasma Vice, Hero Heat, Hero Bond, Clay Man, Necroid Shaman, Grand Neos, and... 
Cyber Dragon alternate art. We needed to see this. This is a beautiful Seeker rare. That's awesome. And then a Garoth Lightsworn Warrior. We're not going to get the Neos Wiseman, are we? Where the heck is he? We have Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Very nice card. We got instant Neo Space. Six Samurai Zanji. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Elemental Hero. Rampart Blaster. I feel like we've pulled every single Elemental Hero so far. And... Darkness Destroyer. Okay, this guy kind of looks like a Summon Skull, like on steroids. It looks insane. Let's see about the super. Okay, Gladiator Beast, Lanista. I didn't even know this existed. Fake Hero and Wing Karibo, but apparently it does. That was definitely a dud pack to start. I don't know if any of that was worth anything. That might have been a $0 pack. Let's see what we can do here. We got a Destiny Signal. I didn't even know half the cards. Infernal Gainer. We got a Rise of the Snake, Deity. Deity Survivor, very good card. Light of Redemption. Rare value from the Crystal Beast. And... Sky Scooper 2 Hero City. No! Arcus Lightsworn Druid and Terra Firma Gravity. No, come on! Somebody was revving their engine going by here. Maybe that means we're about to pull something good. We got a Blade Edge. Instant Neo Space. We got a Hero Counter Attack. Grinder Golem. Hero Mask. DD Crow. That's good. That's not a dud. Okay. Ooh, and the Avian. We got three of the alternate arts. Percentage Trick, Sparkman, and Avian. That's pretty cool. And then Lumina. Oh, that's also worth something. And then Ocean might actually be a, maybe like a dollar because that can be used in Edison. Two packs to go. Two packs left to achieve our goal. I don't know. It's not looking good. It, I don't even know if it's possible at this point. Transcendent Wings. Let's see. Ice Master. I don't know where we're actually at, though. Non-Fusionary. Just going off how I feel. Cold Enchanter. Phoenix Enforcer. This is one we hadn't pulled yet. Okay, we've pulled it. And... Banisher of the Radiance is actually a pretty good card, especially Secret Rare. I don't know if it's going to be crazy value, but it's definitely pretty good. And Future Fusion, another great card. Feather Shot and Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. All right, final pack. That was not a bad pack. Let's see if we can finish it with a bang here, though. This final special edition has not been great. Well, what is it called? Not special edition. Game board. It's definitely not been that good. Let's see if we can finish it strong. We got a Dunker. D Spirit. Neospace and Aqua Dolphin. We got the Rainbow Gravity. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Element Zero Woodsman. That's another one we hadn't seen. We literally have pulled everything. And... Oh, you bell the ultimate nightmare. We didn't get the regular you bell, which is the best one, but we got the other two, which is cool. And then Venominaga with Crystal Promise. Okay. Overall, pretty decent. I don't think we made our money back, but this is how we did. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.